Hey, this is A1 Nick with A1 Bonding. This is a message to people who have bailed out from HPD who later have to turn in to get processed a second time. Now it's really messed up. It's a huge waste of time for everybody involved in this system. However, it is commonplace to post bail at the Honolulu Police Department and then after, it could be days, it could be weeks, you could have already been to court. After, you could have to turn in a second time just to redo your fingerprinting, your photo, give your information so that you get booked a second time. Now, I know it's a big waste of time, it's really frustrating for everybody involved, but the court has a system where when your case gets transferred from the district court to the circuit court, guess what? As a common practice, when it transfers over, they create a bench warrant that needs to be served. Now, I have no idea why the state of Hawaii hasn't like created like a, a solution. Um, I've pitched law enforcement on ideas like, hey, we should have what's called like an electronic booking. All you have to do is get the information from the first booking transfer it over and then maybe serve the bail bondsman or serve the person the defendant with a notice saying you've got court and here's your date but for whatever the reasons are as we stand right now it is super common for people to post bail and then have to get processed a second time and there's really no reason why there's nothing i've talked to judges about it i've talked to lawyers about it it's just a a hiccup within the judiciary, the state of Hawaii, the way that law enforcement works, is just a hiccup that the state of Hawaii hasn't fixed. Now, there's two ways to get this done. The smart way is um, when the court directs you to turn in, when your bail agent directs you to turn in, or sometimes even a warrant officer has been assigned the specific warrant. When either of these three parties tell you to turn in, you gotta promptly turn in, like, within that day or so. Um, if you turn in at 240 Keawe Street, the sheriffs have all the information directly from the court and it's easy to turn in, get processed, and then get released, usually in about an hour. Now, the advantage to taking care of things promptly and not like dragging your feet on this is substantial. If you go in during normal business hours, um, I would recommend sometime in the morning, um, maybe around 9.30 to maybe one in the afternoon, it's kind of like a sweet spot. Um, just go in, turn in at Keawe Street. All you have to do is press the button and say, you're turning in to get processed. The order is attached. What that means is the bail bond that you've already posted, that order is attached, which means you'll be like processed and then released through the sheriffs is the best way to do it and you have to do it. If you choose not to do it or you're just lackadaisical in turning in and you don't prioritize it, you open the door towards some sort of liability where you get arrested by the police and then you're just gonna get detained and then you'll either have to post a second bond, yes, a second bond or the police are going to transport you to court and then once the court figures out that you've already posted bail they'll let you go but then that doesn't really help you because you spent an extra night in jail now i've had it out with the honolulu police department about this and i've tried every which way to get this solved what happens is they know that if they happen to pull somebody over and they find like a warrant they know that they have to serve the warrant. That's the moral and ethical thing to do when you're in law enforcement. However, the information saying that you've already posted bail and that you are to be released, that information or the order which is attached isn't always available or it's not recognized by the police. I have no idea why there's a distinction between the police and the sheriffs, why it works like that, but I've had many clients who get like pulled over for a new infraction and then when they haven't turned in and like got processed on their existing case the police see it as another bench warrant they serve it and it's really not their problem or at least the way that it's been explained to me it's really not their problem if there's some discrepancy and you've already posted bail it's perfectly fine and legitimate for them to just say 
take it up with the court. That's a court matter. We're going to transport you in the normal course. Or if you want out now, go get your bondsman to go file the bond again. This is a, this is a big waste. Of, this is a really big waste of time. Nobody wants to be in custody. And you're just wasting your time if you think that because you have the moral high ground, you're going to be able to like convert the police and have them do their um, arresting and releasing in any way, shape or form outside of what they already do. You're wasting your time. So the solution is whenever you get the word from your bail agent, the court or a warrant officer who happens to be with the sheriff's office, you got to within the next day, turn in, you go right to the gate. You say that you're turning in, you've already posted bail, the order is attached, and then they'll welcome you in. It's a hassle, but they'll just redo all the paperwork that HPD did already when you initially got arrested. They redo it. They'll probably give you a receipt with a court date, and then you move on with your day. This is critical. So in order to do it, first, you want to go ahead and from court, which is when they usually direct you to do it, um, I'll show you right now exactly how to get from court to 240 Kiave Street to make things easy and simple. Let's go. Now from the courthouse, it's pretty simple. Usually in the area, you just need to make sure that you make a left onto Punchbowl Street. Once you're going left on Punchbowl Street, um, in this view, you could actually see the courthouse on the left-hand side. Boom, that's 777 Punchbowl Street right on the left you'll pass the next block, which is Restaurant Row. And then as soon as you get to the light, that's when you make a left and you're on Ala Moana Boulevard. Now, when you're on Ala Moana Boulevard, just hang on the middle or right-hand side lane. You should be good. I'm gonna go ahead and bypass the buses, but you're gonna wanna make sure that within the next, like, I think it's like one, two, maybe the third stoplight, you're gonna see Keave Street. So we pass this first stoplight. I'm gonna get into the right hand lane, keep my eyes peeled. On the left, you see the collection, which is um, the building, the high rise building on the left. Um, now we're gonna pass the second street, and then it's literally this next right hand turn onto Keave Street. At the corner, you see all that glass. Um, on the right hand side, that's the gold bond building. That's your signal to go ahead and make that right. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, as you make that right, it's literally gonna be the second building. It's it's kind of like, it looks like a really big, like glorified trailer. Um, there's plenty of parking in the area on the right or on the left, or you just head straight down, you'll see metered parking. But I'm gonna go ahead and park directly in the facility just to show you exactly what the workflow is. Um, now, this is the sheriff's parking, so I do not recommend um, going to the sheriff's and then taking their parking. That's probably not the move you want to do. And this is what you want to do. There's a black gate right here, and then you want to press the box, press the button one time, and then wait for somebody to either come out and talk to you from there or wait for like the little walkie talkie system for somebody to talk to you. Super important, all you have to say is your name, that you're turning in, you've already posted bail and then also add the order is attached. So for example, if I was to press the button one time, cause it's super important, you don't wanna be rude. You wanna make sure you just press it the one time, that's all that's necessary. And then you wait, it could be a few minutes, but you wait and as soon as somebody comes out, just say, Hey, I'm turning in a second time. I've already posted bail. The order is attached. That's all you gotta do. And then they'll open this gate. You'll go right up the little ramp. And then inside, it's actually quite nice. It's air conditioned. Everybody's super cool. You've already posted bail, so you don't have to worry about anything. Um, the only like downside that happens sometimes is when you're here, um, as you can see, the sheriffs have their work too. There could be people getting transported in and out. They could actually have a lot of bodies in there. So sometimes you actually got to wait a little bit and that's what you want to do. Um, you want to make sure that the people who are going by in cuffs and all that, let them get processed in and out. You don't want to get too mixed into that population. Just be courteous and wait for them to direct you to come in. Um, it's as easy as just being on a bench a lot of times and just saying your information like your name, your date of birth, all that stuff. 
And then before you know it, usually under an hour, you're in and out and you're good to go.